Hi, I'm Chris and I'm a counsellor at the Yo-Yo Project. Just wanted to make this film um, with regards to supporting children and young people around funerals at the moment during the COVID-19 situation. Um, it's one of the areas I think that has been so difficult for so many to manage. Um, obviously there are very strict rules in place around the number of people that can attend funerals um, and uh, very often children and young people perhaps are families are finding that they're unable to, to attend funerals. Um, obviously it's really really tough if uh, children and young people of all ages if they wanted to attend a funeral and just are unable to do so. Um, so some ways that possibly families can look to support children and young people. I guess one of the first things is to um, to be really open with children, to try to uh, communicate as, as openly as possible. Um, it's very often innate in ourselves as adults to want to protect children um, from upsetting or distressing information and completely appreciate that. However, I think it's really important that as adults we find ways to, um, to allow children to understand and that we communicate as openly as we can. I think children, of however young they are, will know that we are in a quite a different and unique situation at the moment. They won't be at school or preschool. Um, so I think we can find a way to use that to explain why um, they're unable to attend a funeral. Um, if, if it's a child's first experience of death, they perhaps won't actually understand what a funeral is. So finding ways, photos, um, finding ways to show children what a funeral looks like and, and if, if they would have attended what that funeral would, would be like. Um, I think that's really important so that they understand to a degree um, what, what is taking place. Um, I think that with the strict rules in place um, it's unlikely that a child or a young person is going to be able to, to view the body of the deceased. However, it might be someone, an adult within the family, is able to. To offer a child or a young person the opportunity to draw a picture, write a note or a letter, um, or you know there might be something, that, that like a teddy or something that, that's really special to them, to afford them the opportunity to perhaps um, give that to the person who is viewing the body um, might be really, really important and, and that, that thing can be left with the body. The actual funeral itself, um, there are various ways that children and young people can be enabled to feel that they are somewhat involved. So there's the possibility of um, in real time at the same time as a funeral um, kind of having following the order of service almost at home or playing a particular song or a hymn or um, and so that they can feel that they are involved in in what is taking place without them there it might be that actually if there's many family members, friends, um, you know, a virtual funeral can take place through one of the um, video conferencing platforms and that might be a really lovely thing for a, a child or a young person to be involved in, to hear people um, talk about their, their memories of, of the person who died um, to listen to, to a particular piece of music for a child to you know contribute to that about their own memories might be something that actually is is useful for a, a child um, to for children to creatively 
express themselves, um, drawing pictures, looking at old photos, writing down some of their memories of the person who died. That's all part of a way that a child or young person can feel part of um, a process of saying goodbye to, to the person who died. I know many people are talking about um, memorial events or you know a, a one-off memorial um, and very often talking about that in the future at a date when people are able to socialize more together um, and that's lovely that's something that you know a child or a young person can be involved in the planning of that can be asked what they would like to um, experience as part of that memorial what would they like to what they like to see as part of it and I think that's really really important um, some of the memorials might be more um, you know sooner in terms of again through a, a video conferencing and again a, a child or young person can can be actively involved in um, what they would want to contribute to that memorial so there's various ways there that um, in a really less than ideal situation um, that children and young people can still be involved in some way and feel that they are part of a way of um, you know celebrating the life of the person that died and, and, and having an opportunity to say goodbye.